Welcome to Exploratory 7 and 8. Today, we will tackle the electrical installation and maintenance. For Module 1, you have to prepare electrical materials and tools for the task. Lesson 1, Prefer Electrical Materials and Tools Electrical tools can make our work easier, faster, and efficient. However, these tools when improperly used can cause injuries. To avoid it, one should be mindful and cautious when working with electrical tools. Appropriate personal protective equipment should be used while doing the task or job. For common electrical tools, we have screwdrivers. These tools are made of steel hardened and tampered at the tip, used to loosen or tighten screws with slatted heads. They come in various sizes and shapes. Under the types of screwdrivers, we have standard and flat screwdriver. The blade tip is wedge shaped and resembles a negative sign. This is used to drive screws with a single slat head. Phillips screwdriver. This has a cross tip resembling a positive sign. This is used to drive screws with cross slat heads. Stubby screwdriver. This comes in either standard or Phillips screwdriver with a short chunk or and a shortened handle used to turn screws in tight spaces where a standard screwdriver cannot be used. Allen screwdriver or wrench. This could be in the shape of screwdriver or a wrench. Its function is to drive screws with hexagonal slot heads. Next, hammers. These are tools used in driving or pounding and pulling out nails. They are made of hard steel, wood, plastic, or rubber. Types of hammers. Claw hammer is a hammer with one side of the head split and curve, used for extracting nails. Mallet or rubber head. Has rubber head and is usually used to knock wooden pieces together or to drive dowels or chisels. Ball pin hammer. It is also known as machinist hammer used in metal working. Another common electrical tool is pliers. These tools are made from metal with insulators in the handle and are used for cutting, twisting, bending, holding, and gripping wires and cables. Types of pliers. Combination pliers or linesman's pliers. This is used for gripping, holding, and cutting electrical wires and cables and even small nails. They are usually used by linemen in doing heavy tasks. Side cutting pliers. This use of pliers is used for cutting fine, medium, and big wires and cables. Long nose pliers. This is used for cutting and holding fine wires. This can reach tight spaces or small openings where other pliers cannot reach and is also used in making terminal loops of copper wires. Next, we have wire stripper. This is a tool used for removing insulation of wires ranging from gauge number 10 to gauge number 16. Electrician's knife. This is used by alignment to remove insulation of wire and cables in low and high voltage transmission lines. Portable electric drill. A small drilling machine with a chuck capacity of 1.4 inch to 1 half inch. It is used in making holes on metal sheets and concrete walls. Hacksaw. This tool is used to cut metal conduit and armored cable. Common electrical materials. First, we have convenience outlet. It's a device that acts as a convenient source of electrical energy for current consuming appliance. Under convenience outlet, we have surface type. This type of outlet is typically mounted on the surface portion of the wall. Flash type. This type of outlet is typically buried in concrete and is attached to the utility box. 
mail plug is a device inserted to a convenience outlet to allow the flow of electric current. This is used in making extensions wires. Lamp holders. These are devices that hold the lamp and are also called lamp sockets or ceiling receptacles. Switch is a device that connects and disconnects the flow of electric current in a circuit. There are many shapes, designs, and types. Fuse is a circuit protective device that automatically blows and cuts the current when overload or short circuit has circuit breaker. A protective device that automatically trips and cuts the current when trouble in the circuit such as short circuit or overload occurs. Junction box is an octagonal shape electrical material where connections, joints, or termination of wires are being done. Utility box is a rectangular shaped metallic or plastic or PVC material in which flash type convenience outlet and switch are attached. Flat cord is a duplex stranded wire used for temporary wiring installation and commonly used in extension cord assembly. Electrical wire or conductor is the means in which electrical current will flow. It is usually made of copper or aluminum with or without outside insulation. Other electrical wire or conductor, we have stranded wire, is made of multiple strands of copper or aluminum joined together to make a single wire. Solid wire is made of a single strand of copper or aluminum wire. These are used in wiring installation inside and outside the buildings. Conduits pipes are tubes that are used not only to protect wires but also to route electrical wiring throughout the building. Rigid steel conduit or RSC is a thick walled threaded tubing usually made of hot deep galvanized inside and outside and is threaded at both ends. Flexible non-metallic conduit or corrugated plastic conduit or CPC is flexible corrugated plastic tubing that is moisturized resistant and flame retardant. Rigid non-metallic conduit or PVC is similar to plastic plumbing pipe and installs with fittings. It can be after being heated using portable heat gun. Electrical metallic tubing or EMT are made of electro-galvanized metal. It is typically thin and lightweight. Flexible metal conduit or FMC has a spiral constructions that make it flexible so it can snake through walls and other structures. Liquid tight flexible metal conduit or LFMC is a special type of flexible metal conduit that has a plastic coating and is used with sealed fittings to make it watertight. We have clamps. Electrical materials are used to hold and anchor electrical conduits to its proper position. Connectors are used to attach metallic or non-metallic conduit to the junction or utility boxes. That's the end of module 1. Thank you for watching. For more videos and lessons, don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.